Welcome to our Advent Daily Devotions here at Our Savior's Lutheran Church in Long Beach on this Thursday, December 23rd. Our reading for today is from the second chapter of Luke, verses 1 through 3. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. And our point to ponder for today, God chose what is foolish in the world to shame the wise. God chose what is weak in the world to shame the strong. God chose what is low and despised in the world, things that are not, to reduce to nothing things that are, so that no one might boast in the presence of God. 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 27 through 29. Luke's account of the birth of Jesus sets this holy event against a very human backdrop, the emperor taking stock of all the world, all the world under Roman rule. And what are we to make of this? The emperor's decree could explain why Mary and Joseph would, cha would chance a rigorous journey from Nazareth to Bethlehem, so close to the birth of their child, traversing rocky hills and valleys in order to be counted. But that's not all. Luke's focus on the political events and people of those days also connects the birth of Jesus to human history and to the human fixation on counting possessions, counting property, and counting people to determine who really counts in the scheme of things. God enters the world as a newborn child, one of little account in terms of human power. In doing this, God takes the side of those who are discounted by human standards. In his birth, ministry, death, and resurrection, Jesus continually surprises and subverts human expectations, proclaiming God's reign as uplifting of the lowly and a humbling of the powerful. Where might we find God today in our midst, especially among those who are treated as though they do not count? Let us pray. God of the universe, your foolishness is wiser than our wisdom and your weakness greater than our strength. Guide us to notice and to care for those left out and unaccounted for and remind us that we too are counted as precious in your sight. Amen.